Hi guys, in this review, I'll be checking out this brand new MagSafe charger. This is for a desk or nightstand. It's gonna keep your phone charged, your Apple Watch charged, as well as your Apple AirPods as well. Previously, I had this Belkin charging dock, which I've done a review for, and I'll put that up in the card there. I've used this for a number of months now, probably nearly a year, I think, and it's been good, but the downsides has been these LEDs that flash up when you're charging are super bright in the night. And if you're like me that likes proper darkness, these do illuminate the room a little bit and you do have to cover them if you don't want that. And I did do that once. This lights up when you've got the base charger and this one up here lights up when you've actually got your phone charging on the front. Another reason and the main reason why I'm changing this is that when you got these camera bumps now, they're getting so much bigger that when you put the case against them, they're not actually making full on contact with the back plate. Sometimes when you put the phone on, it kind of like rests on the top there like this and you let go and it sort of falls down or falls over. And it's not a really good solution. So I thought I'll get a proper MagSafe solution this time. And then I can actually go with the landscape orientation and get that kind of nightstand clock effect, which I seem to like. And another issue is that I would rather have the watch and the AirPods charger swapped. I don't use the watch as a nightstand, I normally tap on the phone to check what the time is during the night. And I get my AirPods quite regularly more than picking up my watch at night as well. So I prefer the watch to be at the back and the AirPods to be at the front. And most of these stands come with the watch element at the back of the stand. That doesn't trouble me too much because I'm not really using it for that. So I found this MagSafe charger, which comes in a variety of different colors and I just thought it was worth checking out. It's 19 quid for the white model. Uh, it goes up to 27 pounds for a wooden effect model, which look, also looks quite nice, but I thought, does this even do the job first? Because I have had MagSafe chargers that don't do the charge properly. If you plug it in onto a capable wall adapter, you'd hear it turn on and off, which means it's not getting sufficient power for charging. So let's see what's inside the box first. Obviously, I'm not expecting to see the same quality as the Belkin. Belkin was like nearly 60 pounds. This is 20 pounds. So I'm not expecting to see high quality. But the fact that you do get a 18 watt charger is actually quite nice. USB-A though, unfortunately, but it'd be a quick charger USB-A, hopefully. So here's what you get. You get the stand, you get the wall charger free, you get a USB-A to C cable that looks like it's just under about a meter, enough to get to a wall socket, hopefully, and a booklet of Chinese and English on how to get everything up and running. So I don't think we really, really need that. So looking at the stand, I thought this is a really nice looking stand. You don't have any tilt adjustment, but I don't really mind that because it just adds more complexity of where everything will sit. Plus there's a chance that it could go too low when you place it on it and it falls off. Again, you've got the all important Apple AirPods or you can actually put a phone on here as well. And that allows you to charge a secondary device if you were to have it on a desk, for example. And then on the back here, you've got a um, charging point for your Apple Watch. So let's test the strength first. Does it all sit on there? Um, and can you move it? This is the big one for me. Can you put it and place it on there without the stand moving? So I'm gonna, obviously, you can take the whole thing with it. So, makes noises too. So you do need to have like a two-handed operation to remove the phone at night, or let's see. So you can, bring it down without touching the stand. You, can, you can't really peel it off. So unfortunately, even though it's got a bit of weight to it, how much weight is it? It says the whole thing is 430 grams. So I'd say, let's see. <laughs> um, it does the job. It holds onto the thing, but I would like to have seen this base a lot heavier. But for 19 pounds, it's... Um, it looks nice. So let's get this plugged in and get all the accessories plugged on it. So you could use a USB-C to C if you've got one of those, but I'm gonna use the one that it actually came with. I'm also gonna use the adapter it came with as well. So I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, so it's all plugged in. We've got our Apple AirPods here as well. I'm not seeing any lights emitting, so there's no lights on the actual charging plate until you put on the phone. That's now charging. And then the little light on the bottom is now uh, lit up. We'll see how strong that is. There are no buttons here to turn that off. So that worries me a little bit. We're gonna go on with our AirPods, which should be charging. 
Yep, they're charging. So we've got all those elements there charging. And if I rotate the phone, is it gonna go into nightstand mode? Probably not, I don't know. There we go, standby, sorry, not nightstand. So there we have the nightstand mode, and then we can um, swipe between some fish and chips, uh, stretchy clock, and that's about it. I think you can change this as well to different um, time zones and clocks and so on. Uh, and change the side to weather and so on, and show reminders and things. And this turns red as well, uh, which is nice as well, so it's not gonna illuminate the whole place. So let's go on with our watch. So we've got our, the watch here, and that just literally slaps on over there and starts charging behind the phone. So as a little tidy little stand, and I'll do a full out wide shot of um, this in situ on the nightstand. I think this is really cool. And I'll put in the comments if I've encountered any problems with this so far, and I'll try and keep that up to date. Uh, this seems to spin on it, which is a bit weird. It would be nice to have some friction um, on this plate, give it a bit more rubberized material so that it doesn't do this. Anyway, so that's my AirPods charging, but I could take a Android phone, for example, and place that on the bottom. I think this actually Android is dead though. You can also charge your AirPods from that plate too. I don't think you can charge that from the, no, you can't from the watch plate. That won't work. Yeah, that's charging though. It's charging the uh, Google phone. It says the bottom pad is only for the AirPods charging, but my Google phone is charging from it. So maybe just not as a good enough speed. But if you do have a Google phone, you don't have an iPhone and you like to use a MagSafe ring for charging, you can do that as long as you've got a magnetic back on your Android. It does have foreign detection, so it won't charge the plate if it finds there is something that isn't be able to be charged on there, such as like a metallic device, like rings, for example. It would warn you with its status LED light at the front. And it speaks about the iPhone 12 and 13, so it just shows you how long this charger has been about four. But it does support up to 15 watts of charging, so it will get some good fast charging out of the adapter onto the, into your phone there overnight. So it's definitely gonna charge up overnight, no problem. So it's nice to have that on a desk, for example, if you've got multiple devices, you wanna keep them charged as well as your phone. But for me, it's gonna be useful as a nightstand and uh, I'll let you know how I get on. So this actually has gone up in price now since I first bought it. You can now have it for £21.99, down 41%. Uh, you, it retails normally at £36. Uh, the various color schemes uh, from like gold, black, purple, and then you've got wooden, black like a dark wood color and a bit more oaky mahogany type of color i am worried about that light though so i'm going to try that at night uh tonight and see how i get on and if it's worth covering up sadly there's no buttons that i can see to turn that off but overall a nice tidy stand that i thought i'll bring to you should you be looking for a similar nightstand for your apple and android devices all right thanks for watching and i hope you found this video helpful if it has let me know down below by leaving us a thumbs up and comments are always welcome if you have any questions about this particular stand and how i'm getting on with it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one cheers bye